Hey guys, it's 7demo7. Seven seven. How you guys doing? I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to uh, install the small part CNC prop adapters. And there I have that one right here. This is the number four pod. Um, obviously, you're going to uh, remove your stock props by removing the two screws. And you'll see that you have four screws on the top of the motor uh, that you're going to be screwing your small part CNC adapter in here. This couldn't be any easier. Um, but I know that some of you guys out there are not mechanically inclined. However, if you own this, this machine, you probably should be. So uh, what I do recommend is putting a little bit of blue Loctite on the end of each one of these screws, not too much, just the teeniest amount on the, the very beginning of the threads. Uh, you can just set all four screws uh, into the adapter just like this, and I'm gonna go ahead and set it down in. You're gonna need a two millimeter uh, quality, two millimeter um, screwdriver, hex driver. Um, screw in till you just barely start to feel some resistance. Do the ones directly across until you barely feel some resistance. The same thing with the third and the fourth screw. All right, once you do that, you're going to give it another eighth of an, a turn here, maybe a twelfth of a turn here. Just get them all snugged up. I have flown this craft without putting uh, Loctite uh, on the screws, and I did check the screws afterwards, and they were a little bit loose. So I do recommend highly the... Uh, blue Loctite. Okay, so you're going to have your um, your propeller and this uh, propeller shaft here is six millimeters. This is a Wakir blade here um, which has a five millimeter hole before you ream it out. It looks a little bit like this. As you can see it looks a tiny bit smaller. So I just took my Dremel burr and I just hollowed this out a little bit. On the back side of this Wakir blade it is actually wider than the opening up here. So what you do is you must have a a ring adapter right here and what this does is it fits right into the bottom of the blade just like this and when it gets snug down it basically seats completely inside here so um, you can either take that out or leave it on now um yeah i actually didn't widen it quite enough but you can just spin it right on to the into here all right so once you get the, your blade on you're going to be putting on your screws um first you put on um a washer and this is your screw right here to put it on and you will you will have heard that some screws are right hand turn which is this one is which means that it's going in the normal tightening variation that all screws that we know do so it's the perfect you go around in this direction here um, this is for pod two and four are all right hand that means when you're tightening it down, it is the normal uh, thread variation. When you get to pods one and three, it's left-hand threads, which means you have to do the unscrewing motion to actually screw it down in. That way, the direction that they are turning is always in a tightening fashion, and, and in case it's going to encourage the screw to tighten rather than to loosen. Now you want to get your 10 millimeter um, socket wrench and go ahead and uh, hold the entire motor and put your knuckle up against the um, the prop here and give it a nice snug down here. You don't want to over tighten, just right. Okay, there you go. That's how you install the CNC small parts adapters. If you have any questions or comments, leave it in the, the uh, comments below and please subscribe to my channel. Consider subscribing. Uh, you guys have a great day out there.